Gurulal Jain 1924 19 July 1993, was an Indian journalist. He served as the editor of the Times of India from 1978 till 1988. He was sympathetic to Hindu nationalism and authored books on the subject, the best known of which, The Hindu Phenomenon, was published posthumously. The Government of India awarded him the civilian honour of the Padma Bhushan in 1989. <laughs> <laughs> Personal life Gurulal Jain was born in a rural village 50 miles 80 km from New Delhi. He received a bachelor's degree from Delhi University. He married Sudarshan Jain in 1951. They had a son and three daughters, among whom are the historian Meenakshi Jain and the columnist Sandhya Jain. He died on 19 July 1993 at the age of 69. His views Kushwant Singh wrote that, towards the end of his career, Gurulal Jain's writings showed a distinct anti-Muslim, anti-Christian and anti-Sikh bias." Jain was reportedly fired as the editor of the Times of India as a result of his Hindutva sympathies. After retirement, he became an even more vocal supporter of the Hindutva organizations and penned the book The Hindu Phenomenon, which was edited and published by his daughter Meenakshi Jain posthumously. Gurulal Jain welcomed the movement for the Ram Temple at Ayodhya as part of the process of Hindu self renewal and self affirmation. He believed that the political economic order that Jawaharlal Nehru, had fashioned was as much in its last throes as its progenitor, the Marxist-Leninist Stalinist order. He believed that the two major planks of this order, secularism and socialism, have lost much of their old glitter, while the third, non-alignment, has become redundant. According to him, the concept of nation is alien to Hindu temperament and genius. For it emphasized the exclusion of those who did not belong to the charmed circle territorial, linguistic or ethnic as much as it emphasized the inclusion of those who fell within the circle. By contrast, the essential spirit of Hinduism was inclusivist, and not exclusivist by definition. Such a spirit must seek to abolish and not build boundaries. That is why he held that Hindus could not sustain an anti-Muslim feeling, except temporarily and that too under provocation, Jain was criticized in the Congressional Record Vol. 142, Issue 137, September 28, 1996 published by the U.S. Government Publishing Office for his 1982 Times of India editorial titled, De Turbaning of Sikhs, for its anti-Sikh bias. <laughs> 